Hello, welcome back to the Villa View. It's Friday Night Lights, it's a match preview. It's Aston Villa at home to Bolton. Right, Dolan, mm-hmm. 17th v 19th at Villa Park. Not so the nice. words I was hoping were going to come out of my mouth in October, so but it is, it is what it is. Villa sitting 17th on 18 points, Bolton 19th on 16. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it? Um, I am, actually, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we can, um, we can turn on a bit of style and, uh, you know... Bang a few away, you know. Um, but I, I, I think I went for three 0 Yeah, you did. So um, you were giddy in the podcast. Maybe you'll come back down to earth in the match preview. I was a bit giddy. Um, I mean, you know, their last their last four or five have been have been pretty pretty harsh. Um, I mean, if you think we have had it had it bad, I mean, they had a great start as well. They they Mate, they were traps. fly. I mean, to be fair, we had seven we had points in the first well, nine as well, yeah. didn't we? But they were flying, and uh, I know since the since the whole sort of administration. Debacle with them. It's been a bit. It's been a bit of a of a bumpy road. I'd um, imagine that's quite unsettling. To be I fair, I would say. I would say it would be would be, would be really unsettling. Um, but they, they don't seem to be able to score a goal. No, I just run... one one goal in five games. Yeah, I'll run you through for people who may not know the results now because I've got to admit I was no fay until we just looked at this. So Stoke two, Bolton nil. I'm sure you were Bolton nil, Blackburn one, Rotherham one, Bolton one. Bolton nil, Forest three, and Bolton nil, Hull one. So I don't know why I did that like I was on grandstand or final score, but I did what I did. So yeah, a terrible, terrible month Mm. for Bolton coming to Villa Park on a low ebb. Whereas I don't think we're at a low ebb, but last two results haven't been good. We're not at a low ebb. We're just we're just in transition. I would say you know I think there's a lot more positivity. If this was under Bruce, you know, would would be in a very low ebb. Yeah, Um, where we were. But uh, no, I'm you know it's football and it, anything can happen. But I'm fairly I'm fairly confident. I mean, games like um, like Rotherham at home, Preston at home, we should have been out of sight. Um, I kind of see this game as a as as one of those. Yeah. Um, so I'm fairly confident. I don't think Bolton fans. I don't think the managers particularly. You know, the the number one the number one hero there at the minute. Well, um, Bruce was linked with him in the week. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a really good um, Twitter page called Mainly Oasis. The guy. Um, the I mean, of course, big, you follow a Twitter page called Mainly guys, Oasis. Why not? Well, yeah, well, there's some good stuff on there. The guy's yeah. a big Bolton fan. He was um, he was pretty much saying that Parkinson's lost it, lost it, the dressing room. Okay. And the fans. I'm surprised at that because I've always looked at him as having done quite a good job there. So has I. So have I. But you look at those last four, and you know that's that's relegation for him. Yeah, but surely so their was... ambition is just to stay up. I would have thought. Yeah, you think so? But he he was saying that um, if we don't win, if if they don't win on Friday, then he's he's got to go. But we, but sorry, we they can't afford to to pay him off. No. So he has to walk. No, well, that's not going to Which isn't going to happen. No. So what's he saying, you man? Mainly Oasis. He's just yeah. He's just pretty much saying that if if we if we can go one up, their heads will drop. Confidence is very very low. Um, the, the 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 players aren't playing for him. The fans aren't happy. Um, he thinks what well, they'll get a batter by us. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you watch our game on Friday by any chance? I don't know, but um, he says that there are standard players. A player called Pavel Olawski. Yeah, I know a lot about him. Go on. I know nothing no, about him. I don't know either. As anyone watching this Apparently preview he's an will not be surprised. Absolute beast. Okay. I always thought Sammy Amiobi was their danger man. Whenever I've seen Bolton, Sammy Amiobi's been good. Doesn't Adam Lafonda play for Bolton as well? He did. I think he still does. This preview is terrible so far because neither of us know anything about Bolton. So that's encouraging. Encouraging for people watching this. But last season we they came there and everyone we well, were they, we they were lost the, their first six I think well they? we were on a good run last season and as they, well and they weren't and we, everyone was expecting us to thump them and we did only Matt, won one did Matt Lynch say five 0 in the preview oh, Matt Lynch said all sorts he said five 0 he said all sorts you, you know you can get that up uh, Rollo I think he said five 0 yeah get that up Rollo <laughs> you were uh, you were all about that kind of thing back then as well but we had, we won one 0 and we was a penalty and we sh- we struggled to we see them off yeah and then I think they Samba, Samba, had, Samba yeah. had one offline I was, Big Samba. I was in Spain at the time. what happened to him. I remember, um, I remember watching it, and um, his I and Kodja, Kodja should have squared it. Yeah, and then he just won a penalty. Before the penalty, and then, and then he won a penalty, and then he, fair play, he stepped up and took it. Yeah, but um, Terry gave him a telling off, didn't he? He did, as well. yeah, he really did. Yeah, good old days, yeah, Terry good, Samba. The good days, but um, but that just shows you. I mean, they were they, at, at, at that stage, as you said, we we had just won, we had just beaten Forest and Burton, and. Uh, we thought it was going to be cruise control, and they they lost their first five, and, and we're looking pretty pretty poor. And um, these games and they, they are really, really they give us a really good game. I think these games are really comfortable. They're never comfortable. I mean, we we never made them comfortable. 
No, that's true. You know, maybe but, under um, this new star that we're trying to implement and a week on the training pitch, you're confident that maybe actually we won't make hard am, work of it. I am confident. I am confident. I think I'm confident against anybody, especially at home. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I remember sitting in Loftus Road and you saying we'll lose tonight. I'm sure I, I said especially at home. Uh, especially, sorry. Away, you said you're always confident. Away, I'm never quite as confident. No. Well, but, um, yeah. That's how, fair. Do, how do you see it going? Damn. It could be one of those cagey games quite quite comfortably because, again, it depends how much Smith's managed to put in with the players this week. We're hoping that he's having a week with all the players will be beneficial because that hasn't happened mm-hmm. since he's arrived yet. Mm-hmm. So seeing that, looking back, we, we said that the QPR game was a good performance, a lot, of, a lot of possession. We just maybe lacked a little bit of purpose. If we've may, maybe been working on that purpose at the training ground in the week, then it could be happy days. But quite easily, it could be a slog because these games often are and on telly this season, I don't feel like we've got a good record. I feel like we've gone back to Don't when we were on Donald telly. K, Donald K on TV, you know? Well, we've only won four games or five games all season, isn't it? Is it four, four or five? Four. four games all season. And we've been on TV a lot, so mm. I suggest we've not done great on TV. No. We're usually away when we're on TV, in, yeah. in fairness. But I think we'll win. I do think we'll win. I think the week on the training ground will have yeah. been beneficial. But I just think these things are never as easy as maybe some fans expect. What are you expecting to see selection-wise? I was going to say, I was going to say that about you. I think... Um, it's so hard to call because, like I say, I, I did not expect that team against Swansea to to be what it was. If I was to if I was to pick the team, I'd I'd go Nealands, I'd go Bree right back, Chester Twins, AB Taylor. I'd be honest if he's fit. Um, McGinn, Hurahan, uh, Jack, Jack on the wing, Balassi, and the, and then Abraham up front. I think Balassi may have played himself. Into the team, I thought he'd be. He he when he first came on that point. first ten minutes against QPR, and we didn't even talk about this he in the lift, podcast. He really left. I thought us. he was good. I did too. But I then did he too. did kind of taper off a little he bit. Do you, not, think, do you think it's about time he started it's again? About, but that, with the money that were, I mean, why would you get someone of his quality in and someone of his expense in if you're just going to leave, leave him on the bench? I, I get he hasn't been fit and he's been out for the last sort of eighteen months, but he's surely he's he's, he's good to go now. You know, yeah. he's he's at, a, he's at a pre-season with Everton. He's had you know he's been with us now two months. He hasn't started a game. He's he's come on off the bench, he scored he's scored two two goals already. So yep. um he's and he's he's, he's got he's, he's got to play, surely. To me I'd rather see him on the wing and get 60, 70 minutes out of him if he's not quite ready to play ninety minutes, try and get the game won yeah. and then take him off. Because yeah. I'm not I've, I'm not. I've, I've, I always thought Codger was better on the wing, but having watched him the other night, you, I just you, you're not. You're not. You've you've gone off him. It's not that I've gone off him because I know there's a good player there. I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing what I want to see from him at the moment, Codger. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing what, what we want to see from a lot of the players. That's but, fair. Um, okay, that's fair. But you're right. What would you go with? Well, I mean, we haven't had the press conference at this point. With no. the point of filming, so that'll yeah. be tomorrow. I would imagine. I'm not sure if we do them for Friday games afterwards. I'm imagining it's a Thursday lunchtime. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Press conference. So we don't know whether Albert's back. Mm-hmm. Or that, that is Berger going to be? Fit? I think he's got out. I think they've already ruled him out, so right. which doesn't help your team selection not, that you just did. I'd be inclined to go the same back four as you, but I always tend to on these previews look at what I think the manager might do, and I just mm. don't. As we said in the podcast, and a little plug for the podcast, do go back and listen or watch that we took we touched on what team we think is the best team at the moment in that. So I think Neil and in goal. I think, I think it'll be the same back four because I think he's trying to play I that think back it will four. Too, but just he's trying to make something out of a cohesive yeah, yeah, unit out of that back four. Yeah. They've played all three games. I think that will continue. Yeah. So I think the back four will play the same. I like to think if Berker's out at home, we'll see that midfield three of Connor, Grealish and McGinn, which mm-hmm. I've been asking for. Balassi on one flank, probably Elmo on the other, and then Tammy up Good front. Top. That's what I'd like to see. That's And that's what I think he'll do. And on, paper, on paper, or do you think he'll friend. play? Do you think he'll play Whelan? I don't know. It's at home, and it's it's at home against a team that we really should be we should be put in the bed. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he's going to do because I, I don't know. I don't know enough about him yet. Yeah, I haven't seen enough. I haven't you know with Bruce you kind of you can't. Oh, you could guess every week, but I've not seen happen. enough of of Dean Smith's team selections to really to know what he's going to do yet. Um, and I don't think he knows, as, as, a, as yeah. I touched on but the But do you not think that's to be expected? Yeah, of course it is. Of yeah. course it is. Okay. Um, so, it, it, I don't know. Um, the, the fact he brought on Whelan over over, over her hand on, on, on Friday tells me that he might prefer Whelan. That's um, an away game. But that's an away game, so... But we if were losing. Yeah, so uh, I like to think he'll, 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 go with, he'll go with the more creative, creative players on, yeah. on Friday. 
I think Bal- I think Balassi has to, as has I say, to, has to play. He has to get a game at, at some point because these players. The, the problem is, and I've said, I think I've said this before on the podcast. They come in, but they're not playing under twenty threes football, so they get no football. Mm. So when they come in for the first time, they're not going to be fit no. because they're not playing. Yeah. Balassi won't have played ninety minutes for. I don't know. Well, long, long Feels time. like years probably that he won't yeah. have played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninety minutes Balassi. So at some point he's going to have to start a game because otherwise we're going to get nothing out of him. Yeah, I agree. We talked about this on the podcast as well, but O'Hare didn't play for the under twenty threes. Yeah, Are you expecting to see him involved? I'd love to see him on the bench. Yeah, I, I think he will. I'd love to see him, and I think he can be pretty much a, a like for like replacement if, uh, if if he's taking Jack off or if Jack, you know, if maybe 60, 70 minutes, bring him on, take Jack off. I think I think he he'll be. I think he sees him as a as a like for like. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be great to see him play. He's a real prospect. Um, Had trouble with injuries, which is probably why he's yeah, not involved yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, definitely, he, he deserves his chance to be to be in to be in that squad. Do you think there's a need for? Because obviously, we had Whelan and Lansbury on the bench on Friday. On Friday, do you think there's a need for both? Well, not, not at have home. That attacking not, at, player not at home. Not at home. On the bench. Not, yeah, you're right. I think I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we'll see O'Hare at some point. Yeah, yeah. I, I think agree. he'll be on a. I think he's not going as well. You've said he's been named chair quite a few times. You know, he um, suits the pressing. He likes a press, doesn't he? O'Hare. He probably as a youngster, I would suggest he wouldn't be pressing at the right times necessarily all yeah. the time. Yeah. But at least if you've got that kind of mentality of pressing, yeah. Then that that's a benefit, mm-hmm. isn't mm-hmm. it? That he'll he'll fit in. Totally. Totally. Is what I'm saying. I mean, I think all the midfielders are. I think Jack Connor. McGinn and Bjarnason have all got a decent pressing game to be fair I agree yeah. totally agree yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's finding that right balance at the it's moment finding right. that combination that's going to win us a game of football exactly I'd like I'd, I'd like to say that more positive team selection for me and I, I think I will yeah I think I will you've got an alien and I say will, that uh, yeah, I do. yeah I do. so moving on to predictions now You've already done it on the podcast. Like, yeah, you've mentioned it at the start three. of the podcast, which has ruined this segment. Sorry, the start of this video, <laughs> which has ruined the segment. So you've gone three 0 Three 0 Give me some. Hit me with some scorers. Um, I think McGinn will get one. I like to see McGinn score again. Um, McGinn, Abraham, and Balassi if, if he plays. Yeah, you're going for the. You're going for three different goal scorers. Going three different goal scorers. Yeah. I've gone for one nil. To be surprised. What? Why, why, why so cagey? I've just thought quite often things go the same way as they did in the previous campaign, and it was cagey last season. Mm. It was a, it was a one nil. I've got, I've gone for it based on that. I'm going to go for one nil. I'm going to go for goal scorer. I'll just go for Tam. Try and keep it relatively keep it, simple. Keep it, keep it simple. Keep it, keep it safe. But I think that will be a, a reasonably late second half goal. That's what I go with. Yeah, it's going to be a slog. I we'll think if we, I think if we can get if we can if we can get a goal after, after you know early doors first fifteen minutes, I oh, might we'll be flying. We'll be flying. But how often does that happen? No, in I reality. Know. Yeah, well, we did against Swansea and didn't quite happen. But um, I think that I think the you know Bolton Bolton won't quite be won't quite be as um, as 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 tough a test as, as Swansea were. Well, so. hopefully, what your mate saying mainly Oasis is, is well, true. They it. go a goal down, the heads drop, and we can. Well, he said he said on there as well. Put a few. He said on there that they didn't even try against Hull. Oh, that's never good. And we're, and, 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 we're fans, and we're fans right. start saying that you know we've had that a lot with, with players in the, in the past you just know like that, that year we went down you just knew there was no fight there was no nobody was playing playing for the badge and if that's what if that's what they're saying now then it's that's a, not great it's a concern it's no, a concern could be good for Villa let's hope that it is if you have enjoyed this video then make sure you're giving it the big old thumbs up and giving us that ever so nice like mm-hmm. comment below with your thoughts ahead of the Bolton game what team selection would you like to see give keep, us your score keep the Shamrocks as well. comment as well yeah all kinds of Shamrocks I'm sure that will be even more so with Dolan on this match preview I still think there's any suspect about that I'm not, I'm not, bizarre. I'm not, I'm not bizarre. they're all, they're all at the same loads. time they're all at the same time as well <laughs> if you're not already subscribed to the Villa View with your post notifications on then make sure you're doing that that really helps the channel grow and we appreciate all the support that we get on the channel I'll be there for fan cams on Friday night, so make sure you stop outside the whole end and have a chat with me after the game, and Rollo will try and make his gold out of that, as he always does. Mm-hmm. Thanks ever so much for watching this match preview. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Up the villa. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so remember, it's the, first, it's the introduction first. Then it goes to the song. Yeah. Then we go in. Yeah. Go. Okay. Hello, welcome back to the Villa View. It's time for a match preview for Friday Night Lights. I can't say night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that again. Hello, will you look at the camera? Sorry. It's Aston Villa at home to Bolton. Yep. yep. Oh, we'll, go, we'll go with it. <laughs> right, Dolan, <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Eh? If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking our logo there on the left. Easy peasy.